So this is Shovel Knight Showcase. First thing that you see, the shovel of Shovel Knight is extra shovely. Um, it doesn't really do anything to the shovel itself, I believe. But the icon at the bottom looks like it's straight out Shovel Knight Dig, which is actually a good game. But the real crossover item is King Scepter. Um, King Scepter, you charge four to put hitting the target, you bounce in the air, spinning. Bouncing on the enemy does a critical hit, unless you do it again. Um, so we have done vertical weapons before. The Hollow Knight weapon. Ooh, that makes a nice, satisfying sound. Um, the Hollow Knight nail actually sends the character into the sky. And a lot of the enemies can't do anything about them, which is a little scary that the devs said, you know what, we need another one. So you can do stuff like that. Pogo on enemies so long as you hit them again before you hit the ground. But the way I'm going to be playing this, I really like the weapon's speed. It's like, look at that. Pogo, go up to the next platform. Does that beat Dead Cells? I have no idea because there's no item in the game that's anywhere like this. But that is like incredibly fun to me. So I have to figure out how to make that the literal build. Maybe this has something to do with it. Um, I'm also using the Assault Shield. Which, is that required? I don't know. Probably not. But I'm, I'm doing it. Because it's my version of how to use this item. Alright, so... We kind of have to go to a specific biome. Promenade. I think Toxic Sewers is a little too tight. And then Arboretum has uh, Ramus in it. So we hit Ramus from the back. You get reflected. You have a bad time. Nice box. Oh my god. Alright, so I should also mention there is no invulnerability when you use this item. Okay. So then we're in the next biome. The way how I want to play this, I almost want to play this as a speedrun item. Wow, nice legendary. Wow. The protector. Um, so how does like a speedrun item work? We're basically gonna breeze through the map, hopefully kill every enemy like with only a couple of hits. I know how to play. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna be doing a lot of that too. But see like that part? Y you can't tell me that that's not fun looking. Like, not a single person can tell me that wasn't sick. But V. <laughs> I I could just play it normally. I get it, I get it. You don't want to be normal all the time. Oh, let me show you all the sick tech. <laughs> Only possible with a Shovel Knight weapon. All right. This is all part of the plan. Because I actually want to use this on the boss. And that's like really weird to say because typically when you're speed running, whatever weapon that you're using needs to kill a boss. And I would say this weapon is probably not strong suit. So I have to figure out how to make that happen. Now I am using See, like, you cannot tell me that wasn't sick. I am using uh, Assault Dash. Which is extremely helpful. Uh, what I will say is it is very difficult to get a challenge rift this way. Um, OG Shovel Knight is better than Shovel Knight Dig, and there's lots of pole going there. I have Dig, and I think it's a cool game. 
but there's just something about it that makes it hard for me to play. And maybe it's just hard. And I didn't know that. Definitely not doing that. Though to be fair, the food shop would be kind of nice. I just highly doubt this thing can kill anything on this map. Okay, so here's my curse. This is the part that's like really bad about this map. Is the only scroll you're gonna get is this curse one. If you're coming in because of prison depths. So it's honestly not worth coming here. Just for this. Oh my god, I actually could have died on the spot. I think it aggroed me and spun around. Double kill. Yo, oh my god. Where'd the freaking eggs come from? I should just heal, right? Like I said, I should just heal or I should not be there. Like I want to do scheme. See what the power level is. 463, 231. And then if we get face flask, we could do tainted flask instead. So I'm going to try scheme. So we have stuff with short cooldowns and then every time we pogo, we can probably get bonus damage. Probably, maybe. Possibly. Not afraid of these stinky monsters. Okay, I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> kind of scared. Oh my god. That doesn't kill? <laughs> Alright, kind of hypey. One more, one more. Not this. Could have let that change. I said no. Not today, people. Not today. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was going to leave it frozen. V, you're having too much fun. You might be right. You might be right. I like Cluster. I kind of think I need the Telluric. Oh, I don't like this. Ooh. Too bad. So sad. Uh, scheme only works on the weak first hit. But luckily, it's not a percentage number. It's a flat number. Uh, so compare that to combo. Um, combo is percent. This is doing a flat 500. Oh, where am I? So I think the only issue with this weapon is I'm pretty sure the monster knows where you are. Like, you're not confusing the monster at all. Oh, get denied. Oh, I'm also buffing the assault shield from Scheme. Kind of awkward. Um, only do biomes where you have to go up like Clock Tower. That's one way to do it. Then I don't have to worry about backtracking. Yeah, so no sewers for sure. Um, I think even cell poker can be kind of bad. Because, like, there's a lot of spikes there, too. We have lift off. All right. I got sent to SpaceX, apparently. Oh, you can't do that. Was that legit? 
<laughs> it's messed up. Yo, he do got the moves though. Nice try, Teemo. Saw that invisible brush Teemo a mile away. So one issue with this is that if you pogo, like you can't go up the ladder. You have to do a really weird dodge roll cancel in the middle of pogo in order to go up the ladder, just like that. I don't know if that's reportable or not. Might be a V.me issue. As you know, most things are. Yo, it dodged me. <laughs> no, I'm going down. This is, <laughs> this is the opposite of where we want to go. Good thing this weapon makes me skip monsters. Double damage. I feel like that's not fair for the uh, showcase. Just buy this instead of the side. So it may be stronger. It is not stronger. But I'm not full. Hits from the back. But I'm above the monster. How do I know if I'm hitting it from the back? The hit that launches you could be from the back if I like dash into a monster. It's very true. Hello. Oh, we hit it from the back. <laughs> Alright, we gotta come up with a better way to phrase that. Any ideas, I am open to suggestions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's an AO. I don't want it to be an AO. See, it's not my fault if I didn't want it to be. Oh, why am I killing these? Oh, that, that might be really, really bad. Drill from behind. I think there's still some phrasing in there. Maybe. I, I could be wrong, though. The V check phrasing, please. G rated stream, by the way. Oh, wow. You came to me? I was about to say, please, two more. Coward stab? I feel like if you go into the official uh, data of the game, each one of these affixes have their own code name to it. So for example, there's Mega Crit, which is like this 50% bonus crit for the legendaries. It's like Coward's Hit is the one that you just said. Okay, I don't think we want Scheme anymore. Because Vengeance seems to do good enough. And I'm not really spamming Telluric Shock like that. Still want the money, though. I wonder if this is a gold plating moment. We're going into Mama Tick. With a weapon that I have, in all rights, never used in this fight before. Um, I highly doubt it deals any damage whatsoever. Um, that's part of the, the challenge, right? I'm trying to save the Teloric. We'll just corner tech. If there's a second tentacle, I use Solori. Okay. So here's the ultimate test. Okay, apparently you can go too high. 
I think there's a spot where Mama Tick doesn't even know you're there. Right? I feel like she just stopped attacking for a little while. Or am I tripping? Oh my god! I Assault shield is supposed to interrupt that. But because her hitbox is fraudulent... I wasn't actually hitting her. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's kind of free, just to say that, but it, I, I screwed it up. Yeah, all of you have homework tonight. You're all gonna play King Scepter in Dead Cells. I hope you're ready. Hope you're taking VDOT notes as well. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Why'd I go down? Thank you, game. <laughs> the double. Scripted. See a sucker? Lazarus Aura seems like it could be good. Yeah, if it shows up. Maybe we do that swap. Because, like, every time I go down to the enemy, that should be the hit, right? Literally and figuratively. Or they give me more of these. Maybe we're going a little too fast. Be that boomer. Slow down. My knees aren't going to keep up. I gotta go do more TikTok exercises to make sure that my uh, my core and my anchors are all set. My joints. Maybe I need to take more uh, more vitamins. Is it me or does the Shovel Knight's face more oriented to the side and not at like a 45 degree angle? Um, you can kind of see the edge of the other mask. Um, I can see what you mean where like his hips are like facing you. The body is facing you in conjunction to the hips, but then the character's neck is off to the side. I mean, if it wasn't, how would, how would he, he wouldn't know. He'd be a rare, he didn't know more. Though I did see a very good suggestion where for those who don't know, we've been playing a little bit of Terraria lately. And in Terraria, there's almost like a, a Roblox oof sound effect when you take a hit. And I believe, according to the person making the suggestion, there's a feminine oof and a masculine oof. But we don't have that in Dead Cells. There's only the one, because there's only the... The guy character, I guess. So the suggestion is, can they give us a skin for um, the female one too? And then have it make different sound effects. Oh my god. Which is like incredibly fun sounding to me. But I've seen a lot of cool gifs out there of people using Hollow Knight Nail to bounce on the fist outside the lasers, like Infinity Bounce. So maybe I can do that? Famous last words? I mean... Why not, right? We're only 25 minutes in. Oh, my money! Crap, I forgot! that this uh, mutation makes the gold gorgers transform more easily. I wish Scepter could bounce off the walls like Shovel Knight? Wait, what? Bounce off the walls? That sounds sick. Uh, Flamethrower versus Giant could be really good. Again, like part of the gameplay 
is maybe the pogo is there to stall while the turret kills. At least on bosses. I just don't want to like overshadow the scepter too too much. Uh, get the 60 kills to upgrade my scepter. That'd be kind of cool. We don't have a lot of items in Dead Cells that are strictly based off of like your gameplay. Like how well you're playing. I think the closest thing to that is pickaxe. Like get more money and then you get crits. But there's nothing that's like it activates. Oh wow. Let's say for example, every biome that you get a V.60, you end up getting like a permanent stack of b -b bonus damage. It would be kind of cool. It's a little different than pickaxe. Because every time you miss a V.60, like you lost power. Flawless? Flawless does kind of do that, but it's not like scaling every time you clear without getting hit. I guess that's what I'm looking for, is that every time I don't get hit in a biome, that weapon is going to be like a little more pogier on the scale of a 0 to pog 10. Legendary! It's legendary! Ow? Legendary Spike Shield? That's kind of hot. I believe that thing has mega crit. It's like 75% damage on crit. We got double skill shop, right? So we can still get a new base flask. Yeah. Base flask probably isn't mandatory if you were to just take a turret instead. But definitely makes the scepter kill things. Gigant, I was gonna say gigant, but also gigante. No, it's one of the hardest bosses in all of Dead Cells. I did not take off Get Rich Quick. I know I have a lot of money, um, but I need my money. Can't just get rid of it like that. So the one issue I'm seeing, it takes a long, wow, quite a long time for me to get to the ground. Whoa, that was weird. Please. Oh my God of that. I was stunned. Chat, I couldn't move. And then once I could move, I rolled into a spike. It's not my fault. It's like I'm falling too far and getting punished for it. Wait, hold. Which I mean, standard dead cells. If you fall too far, your character gets stunned when you hit the ground. You have to do the down slam, and if you do the down slam, then you're fine. But if I'm doing the pogo, am I really expected to do down slams? Like, that sounds kind of next level, right? Or am I tripping? I think I want to go to queen. I think this is a queen weapon. Famous last words. She does a lot of stuff, and I have no idea what she's going to do against this thing. I could go to Hand of the King. I, I know this works on Hand of the King. Like it's... Maybe we go Hand of the King. Because now that I'm thinking of servants, like trying to hit a servant and it just teleports away from you is probably awful. Is this a ch curse chest? Wow, it is. Don't see that every day. Blessed run. 
Yo, that barnacle would have been absolutely incredible. But I don't want to make this a barnacle showcase. Wow, I could have died. We gotta test out the down slam. See if you even get... See if you're even allowed to down slam while you're spinning. That doesn't work! Oh, I could have made it to the other one, but I wasn't confident enough. See, that's how I expected Scarecrow to work. I pogo so much, it doesn't know what to do. We're gonna reset now. Vengeance still. I don't really want to take No Mercy. I'm trying to think so I don't have to reset later. Even though I have $73,000, I don't want to reset later. This is my money. They're probably just like Tainted Flask or something. Double damage. Same sick. Alright, let's get in here. This is a good spot right here. I'm just holding down left bumper. I'm pretty sure your character will start healing as soon as it can. There it is. Okay, he knows. I... I am so sorry, chat. It appears that you cannot turn around very quickly after a dodge roll. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna do a dodge roll. Okay, okay, okay. So. This is what we got. Left, right. Or whatever it is on the screen. I'm gonna roll. And I'm going to immediately go in the other direction and try to attack. Alright, so dodge roll. And then we immediately press the other button to attack. You see that? What do you all think? Is he capping? Okay, that one we held for a little bit. Let's compare and contrast. Just to show, okay, well, V, that's how the game works. It's always been like that. See? Same timing. You're like locked in a direction when you do a dodge roll with King Scepter. I know like it's it's a get good V. You got outplayed. Don't even try to think about it. I, I have excuses for days. <laughs> That's all it is. I have buku excuses for everything that happens to me when I play this game. That's awkward. <laughs> oh, wow, I made it. Again, I don't want to leak my thoughts about this weapon because I want the vote to be fair and square. Is the best in the game for keeping low malaise. It's a low key speed run. That's how I'm playing it. Now, I can't say that this is the right way to play it. Certainly the V.me way to play it. See, like, even right here, I could freaking pogo into the, the turret. God awful. Wow. Oh my god, this is horrifying. Okay, there we go. Alright. We did it. Vengeance stays. Tainted Flask can stay. Instincto stays. 
Seems okay. This, I think, is going to suck. I don't think there's a world where we can actually do well versus spoiler. Not to say it's it's a hard fight, just this weapon doesn't have high DPS. So yeah, we can stall all day. Spoiler, by the way. Yeah, we can stall and get more knife dances, but I, he has damage reduction. I'm losing Tainted Flask. No! There's absolutely no way that's what I just saw. Okay, I guess I would have gotten hit anyway. Is that legit? How y'all feel about that one? How does this always happen to me? Assault shield skamaz? Crap, I should have left another weapon. Another shield. Unlucky? He's too high? There's no way! Yo, yeeted. Okay, that's kind of fun. Oh, okay, that's not safe either. All right, all right, all right, all right. See? This... If it didn't happen to me, it could happen to you. That's why you gotta follow the stream and watch every second of the fight because that could happen to you the next time you play. You'd be doing a curse sword run. You use assault shield to skip as much of the biome as possible. You get to the boss with assault shield. You lose your curse sword run. I'm helping you out. All right, there's also one more thing we need to do. You gotta rate the weapon, by the way. Every single run, every single showcase, you gotta rate the weapon. We don't know what the viewer's rating is gonna be because I can't leak the information. If I say anything, now I feel like we've tilted the scales. So I'm a neutral party here. I just show it. You all take the information, you dissect it, digest it, and then dichotomize yourself a uh, rating. All right, pull. Now assume that this is not using the turret or any of that stuff where like the turret probably would just kill the boss on its own and I just stall. This is like, I'm kind of using the weapon or you could rate it with a turret. Maybe it doesn't matter. Rate the bill. S, A, B, C, D. Pogo license required? What if all I have is a hoverboard license before it goes up in smoke?